I'm sure Elizabeth Arden is extremely grateful to Prince Harry for his recommendation of the skin care product, but it is the most bizarre sequence in his book, sort of starting around about page 180 uh, through to page 200 or so. And uh, it's just, it, it is just the most bizarre moment where he's spreading uh, skin care cream on what he calls his todger, uh, which has been very well um, defined. Despite all um, speculation in the press, Harry just goes right into the details and um, there it is. Nothing is left to uh, any doubt or any speculation. Um, you know, I, I, I would say this is, this is Todgergate, isn't it, really? Uh, this, 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 this book, Todgergate. And um, the, the, the oddness, the oddness is that when he applies the Elizabeth Arden cream to his todger, he is reminded of his mother, who applied the cream to her lips. It's disturbingly Oedipal and uh, disturbingly worrying. Um, but there we are. Uh, I... As I say, Prince Harry's book is a read. Really, it's a read. I managed it in three hours. And um, there's a lot that's interesting and good about it. There's a lot that is appallingly written. Um, the ghostwriter has today said that uh, there's a difference between memory and fact. Um, well, he's probably right about that. That's not where the error lies. The error lies in the appalling um, grammar, the bizarre uh, links. And if I had paid a ghostwriter, I would expect slightly more. But just... Um, but um, there's a lot to be said about Prince Harry. I love the scene where he waves the Union flag on the top of the North Pole. Um, the pilot hesitated. He insisted that I needed to see the pole before leaving. You can't come all this way and not see it, he said. So he flew me there and we hopped out into total whiteout. Together we located the exact spot with GPS, standing on top of the world, alone, holding the Union Jack. Back on the helicopter, off to Barneo, but just then a powerful storm came sweeping across the top of the earth, cancelling my flight, cancelling all flights. Hurricane winds battered the area, growing so intense that they cracked the runway. Repairs would be required. While waiting, I hung out with an assortment of engineers. We drank vodka, sat in their makeshift sauna, then jumped into the ice-cold ocean. Many times I tipped back my head, downed another shot of delicious vodka, told myself not to stress about the runway, the wedding, anything. The storm passed. The runway got rebuilt or moved. I forget which. My plane went roaring down the ice and, I, and lifted me into the blue sky. I waved out of the window. Goodbye, my brothers. What a nice lad. Frostbite or not. <laughs>